for an impressionist to paint from nature is not to paint the subject, but to realize sensations. By Paul Cezanne. I am Gia Blanche Velas and I'm going to talk about Impressionism art. Where did Impressionism art develop? In 1874, a group of artists called the Anonymous Society of Painters, Sculptors, Printmakers, and etc. organized an exhibition in Paris that launched the movement called Impressionism. Its founding members included Claude Monet, Edgar Degas, and Camille Pissarro, among others, the group was unified only by its independence from the official annual salon, for which a jury of artists from the Academy des Bux Arts selected artworks and awarded medals. In 1874, a group of artists called the Anonymous Society of Painters, Sculptors, Printmakers, and etc. organized an exhibition in Paris that launched the movement called Impressionism. Its founding members included Claude Monet, Edgar Degas, and Camille Pissarro, among others. The group was unified only by its independence from the official annual salon, for which a jury of artists from the Academy des Bux Arts selected artworks and awarded medals. The independent artists, despite their diverse approaches to painting, appeared to contemporaries as a group. While conservative critics panned their work for its unfinished, sketch-like appearance, more progressive writers praised it for its depiction of modern life. Now on its origin. Impressionism was developed by Claude Monet and other Paris-based artists from the early 1860s. Though the process of painting on the spot can be said to have been honored in Britain, by John Constable in around 1813s to 17s through his desire to paint nature in a realistic way. Instead of painting in a studio, the Impressionists found that they could capture the momentary and transcend effects of sunlight by working quickly in front of their subjects in the open air and plain air rather than in a studio. This results in a greater awareness of light and color and the shining pattern of the natural scene. Brushwork became rapid and broken into separate dabs in order to render the fleeting quality of light. History Impressionism was a radical art movement that began in the late 1800s, centered primarily around Parisian painters. Impressionists rebelled against classical subject matter and embraced modernity, desi desiring to create works that reflected the world in which they lived. Uniting, uniting them was a focus on how light could define a moment in time, with color providing definition instead of black lines. The Impressionists emphasized the practice of plain air painting or painting outside. Initially derided by critics, Impressionism has since been embraced as one of the most popular and influential art styles in Western history. In this video outline, there are five of the main Impressionism art characteristics that will not only help you understand this art on a deeper level, but also help you easily identify Impressionism art when you see it. 1. Quick loose brush strokes Number two, bright paintings. Number three, in plain air, painting outside. Number four, relative color. Number five, a clearer picture from further away. Claude Monet's Impression Sunrise. Impression Sunrise, French, Impression Soleil Lavan, is an 1872 painting by Claude Monet, first shown at what would become known as the Exhibition of the Impressionist in Paris in April 1874. The painting is credited with the inspiring name of the Impressionist movement. Period. Impressionism, French Impressionism, a major movement first in painting and later in music. That developed shiftly in France during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Impressionist painting comprises the work produced between about 1867 and 1886 by a group of artists who shared a set of related approaches and techniques. 
The most conspicuous characteristic of Impressionism in painting was an attempt to accurately and objectively record a visual reality in terms of transient effects of light and color. In a music, it was to convey an idea or effect through a wash or sound rather than a strict formal structure. Main idea of Impressionism Impressionists rebelled against classical subject matter and embraced modernity, desiring to create works that reflected the world in which they lived. Uniting them was a focus on how light could define a moment in time, with a color providing a definition instead of black lines. Picking up on the ideas of Gustave Corbett, the Impressionists aimed to be painters of the real. They aimed to extend the possible subjects for paintings, cutting away from depictions of ideas, forms, and perfect symmetry. They concentrated on the world as they saw it, which, which was imperfect in a myriad of ways. Scientific thought in the Impressionist era was beginning to recognize that what the eye perceived and what the brain understood were two different things. The Impressionists sought to capture the former, the optical effects of light, to convey the fleeting nature of the present moment, including ambient features such as change in weather. On their canvases, their art did not necessarily rely on realistic depictions. What is interesting about Impressionism art? The Impressionists wanted to capture a moment in time. They were more concerned with the light and color of the moment than with the details of the objects they were painting. They often painted outdoors and worked quickly to capture the light before it changed. They used rapid brush strokes and often used unmixed color to save time. They used unusual visual angles and common everyday subjects. Why Impressionism is the best art and movement? Impressionism offers the best of both worlds, incorporating familiar day-to-day -day sceneries, but reflecting them in a radical and innovative manner. It displays what we normally see in a different light, which enables us to appreciate it from a familiar but also refreshing point of view. Art comes in many different forms and techniques, with some being more popular than others, Impressionism is one art form with a wide appeal, considered the most impactful art movement in history. Even today, art enthusiasts flock to major museum exhibits to see the blockbuster Impressionist paintings from the world's most renowned artist. And that ends my presentation about Impressionism art.